Sutra, they followed the Buddha in turning the wheel and were wonderfully worthy of the bequest. Stern and pure in the Vinaya, they were great exemplars in the three realms. Their limitless response bodies took a living beings across and liberated them, pulling out and rescuing those of the future so they could transcend all the bonds of dust. Commentary is four sentences of praise for kinds of admirable virtues that characterize the practice of the Ahats. The first sentence praises the Ahats' virtue of wisdom. The second praises the maintenance of the precepts and rules. The third praises the virtue of kindness. And the fourth, the virtue of compassion. They followed the Buddha in turning the wheel. The Ahas constantly followed the Buddha, not just to serve the Buddha or provide for him, not just to offer the Buddha a towel or to bring the Buddha a cup of tea in order to be filial to the Buddha. It's not simply that they attended upon the Buddha, they helped him turn the wheel. This does not refer to the turning wheel of the six paths, but rather to the, to the great Dharma wheel. Why is it called a wheel, you ask? For one thing, a wheel can grind. A mill wheel grinds rice and other grains. The Dharma wheel grinds up all the dead insects and external list paths and pulverizes and destroys their erroneous and improper teachings. A wheel also transports just as a boat transports cargo from Europe to America, so too the turning Dharma wheel transports living beings from this shore of birth and death to the other shore of Nirvana. The speaking of Dharma is like a ship that transports living beings from this shore of birth and death to the other shore of Nirvana. The speaking of Dharma is like a ship that transports people from one place to another. They were wonderfully worthy of the bequest. They had all attained inconceivable states and so were wonderfully worthy. Worthy means that because of the inconceivable states they had accomplished, they were capable of receiving and had the authority to receive the Buddha's final bequest. That is the last instructions he gave everyone about what to do after his nirvana. It's like an ordinary family. When the father is about to die, he tells his sons and daughters that they what they should do in the future, how they would cultivate and handle matters. The Buddha also commands his disciples, telling them, you should work in this way. You should go to that place and turn the Dharma wheel to teach and transform living beings. That is called the bequest. The great bishops were worthy to receive the Buddha's final instructions because they all had an inconceivable wisdom and could turn the Dharma wheel to benefit themselves and benefit others. This sentence praises the wisdom that enabled them to teach and transform other people and caused them also to have wisdom. This sentence praises the Ahas virtue of wisdom. Stone and pure in the Vinaya, they were great exemplars in the three realms. Stern means severe in demeanor, exacting, and not the least bit half a that. It means they were honorable and awesome. They were forbidding so that when you were in their presence, you dared not laugh or be rambunctious or disobedient. You also did not dare let your eyes wander around because the great Ahas was so severe. They were clear and pure because they had ended evil and had, re and had rid themselves of all bad habits. Pure can also mean that they had severed the, the delusions arising from views, the delusions arising from thoughts, and the myriad subtle delusions like dust and sand. And it means the the were also without ignorance. Pure and clear, clear and pure, they had no filth left. They were devoid of evil. How can one become devoid of evil, you wonder? Cut off the evil. 
it is said. However, the purity referred to here is free even of the concept of cutting off evil. If you still remember how you cut off evil, then you are not yet pure. If you remember that on such and such a day you cut off a certain amount of evil and and at such and such a time, you also cut off a certain amount of evil, Gen then you are not yet pure. Why? You still have dirty things in your mind. If you are pure, all these things are forgotten. When they are absolutely non-existent, you have attained purity. Vinaya is a Sanskrit word which means good healing. It is fully able to cure your phones. Stern and pure in the Vinaya means the Great our hearts through actual practice had perfected and attained the drama which caused falls. They were great examples, unsurpassable standards in the three realms the desire realm, the realm of form, and the formless realm. They were guides and masters of gods and people, and so this sentence praises the great our hearts virtue of maintaining the precepts. Their limited response bodies took living beings across and liberated them. Response bodies are also called transformation bodies. Originally, the great Ahas didn't have response bodies, but they created them by transformation in infinite amounts. There might be 3,000 of them, then at another time, 5,000, or 10,000, 100,000, a million, a billion. Why are response bodies brought forth? Is it so that the great Ahas can go about displaying spiritual penetrations to let people know that they have them? No. The great Ahas create the response bodies to teach and transform living beings who need to take in a cross to enlightenment. For living beings who should be taken across by a Buddha, they manifest the body of a Buddha and speak Dharma for their sake. For living beings who should be taken across by a practical Buddha, or by a Brahma king, or by Chakra, or by a Bhikshu or a Bhikshuni, they manifest those response bodies to take those beings across. Like Kuan Shin Bodhisattva, who is extremely kind to those with whom he has comic ties, and greatly compassionate toward those who are at one with him. Great Ahats manifest numberless response bodies to cause beings to leave suffering and to obtain bliss. They enable them to be at peace and to experience the bliss of obtaining what they like. Kindness can bestow happiness, and the Great Ahats were extremely kind and compassionate. Pulling out and rescuing those of the future so they could transcend all the bond of dust. What is meant by pulling out? Say, for example, that someone gets both feet stuck in the mud so that each time he pulls one foot out, the other foot gets stuck deeper until eventually he can't take another step. Then you extend your hand and pull him out of the mud. Or someone may be caught in flood waters, unable to get out until you go in and rescue him. The great Ahas extricate and rescue those of the future, and so we now have hope because we are those of the future. If you can, be, can but believe the Dharma the Ahas speak for you to hear, you can be rescued and crossed over. You and I are numbered among those of the future.